Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we continue training and mentoring the Manchester University wasp team as we take on a very aggressive native species of wasp called Eastern Yellow Jacket, or Vespula maculifrons. As you can see here, the technique involves stimulating an attack response by making noise and vibration outside the nest, and as hundreds or thousands of wasps flood out of the nest to attack, we collect them through vacuum extraction. And we have special containers that we have made for this and then we attach them to vacuums. And this allows us to completely control the swarm as they hover around the nest attempting to attack the gear. The mesh screen filter inside the collection bottles prevents them from being drawn down into the vacuum itself. So all of the live wasp specimens stay inside the collection bottle. The bottle is then detached from the vacuum gear and brought back to the vehicle. And as you see here, we keep dry ice, or frozen CO2, right in the vehicle. And this cooler filled with dry ice is where we freeze the live wasp specimens. This flash freezing process preserves their venom at the highest quality possible for biomedical use. And in this case, that means venom immunotherapy. That is what we do with the wasps that we collect in the field. Once we have most of the live wasp specimens collected and frozen, we then go back and dig out the brood comb. This is the structure underground that the wasps create out of wood fiber and plant material mixed with their saliva. The cells in the brood comb are where the eggs and larvae and pupae live while they go through full metamorphosis, turning into an adult wasp at the end of that process. As you see here, we then look for the queen. We go through the combs in the layers of the nest and we sift out the dirt from the bottom of the pit that the nest had been built in. And in this case, this is where she was. She was down in the pit and we contain her in a queen cage. Once we have the queen contained and we have all of the brood comb contained in a transport container, we then take all of that and we bring it back to the barn lab where we can incubate all of that brood comb. The final step in the field is treating the area with a non-toxic spray made of soap and water and essential oils. That's it. No toxins, no poisons required. Once we take the brood comb back to our vespiary, we can incubate it inside an incubation box that's specific to each species. Here you see a Vespula maculifrons, or Eastern Yellow Jacket, incubation box, which is a converted old freezer, which is no longer functional. It's only used as a box. We cut a hole in the side, and from here we collect thousands more wasps for venom immunotherapy each season. To view the entire episode and watch the job from beginning to end, please click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.